let's discuss today's problem minimum depth of binary tree so in this problem we have given a binary tree and we have to write a code to find its minimum depth and the minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node and what is leaf node a leaf node is a node with no children for example this is the leaf node so they don't have right and left children similarly this node this node so these three nine fifteen seven is the leaf node and now let's understand this problem statement uh, through multiple examples so in the first example given this binary tree so we have to find the minimum depth of binary tree so so let's uh, see the possible path so one path is this from root node to the leaf node second path is from uh, starting from this point we can go to this point and starting from this point we can go to this point so out of these three paths so minimum depth we can find in this path and the minimum depth is 2 so 2 is the answer now uh, let's see the second example in this example we have given this binary tree and in this binary tree there exists only one leaf node uh, so leaf node is a node which does not have right and left children and there exists only one path from root node to the leaf node and in this path there exist five nodes so the minimum depth in this case is five so five is the answer so this is the problem statement and now let's see a few constraints so the first one is the number of nodes in the tree is in range from 0 to 10 to the power 5 and the node value should be greater than equal to minus 1000 and it should be less than equal to 1000. So now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem. In this problem we have to find the minimum depth of a binary tree and minimum depth is already defined. So it is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node and what is leaf node leaf node is a node which does not have any right and left children so in this problem i'm going to solve this problem using level order traversal so the idea here is to traverse a binary tree level by level and return the depth of the first leaf node and if you are not familiar with level order traversal so in level order traversal we first visit all the nodes present at this level before moving to the next level then we move to the next level and visit all the nodes present at this level so in this way level order traversal works and how do we solve this problem using level order traversal so uh, let's visualize it so in level order traversal what we do we start from uh, this level we start from the first level and the uh, node present at this level is 3 so we check whether 3 is a leaf node so no in this case 3 has left and right children so it, so this node has left and right children so it's not a leaf node and we visited 3 so now let's move to the next level and from next level so when we start uh, from uh, from the root level so let's say its minimum depth is 1 now we move to the next level and now its depth is 2 and here we pick this node and we check whether it is a leaf node yes it's a leaf node so this node 9 is a leaf node so now we have found the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node and its depth is 2 so we return the minimum depth which is 2 so there are multiple paths uh, formed here one is this I have already explained from the root node to the leaf node second is this one and the third is this one and out of these three this is the shortest path and uh, using level order traversal we can easily find uh, the shortest path from the root node to the nearest leaf node let's discuss how we can implement this approach using java code so the first condition is very straightforward if a root node is null then simply return zero and here uh, for the level order traversal i am using additional data structure uh, which is q and uh, this q holds the value of tree node type 
so initially we add the root node so this node in a queue so we enqueue this uh, node in a queue and we take one more variable which is the mean depth and initialize with one so we have this node and it is not null so uh, so uh, we in start with the mean depth one and then we run this while loop until the queue is not empty and we uh, take the length so uh, the size of a queue and why we are taking it so in level order traversal we have to first visit all the nodes present at the current level before moving to the next level that's why when we take the size of a queue we visit all the nodes of a that uh, of a current level and then we move to the next level uh, so let's see uh, how how this for loop uh, how this uh, code is working so now we we are starting with this level and in this level the only node present is three so there is only one node and uh, its length is so initially we added this node in a queue so its length is one so we visit this node we run a loop from zero till the value of i is less than length so less than length means uh, it is less than one so we visit this node so we pull this uh, node from a queue so we pull this value from a queue we are simply dequeuing it so let's say we dequeued three and we check whether it's a leaf node whether its left and right children is null no so this condition is skipped and we take its left and right children and enqueue them in a queue if it is not null so we enqueue so this node is already pulled from a queue so we enqueue 9 and then 20. now uh, we uh, we have uh, visited all the node present at this level so let's increment the value of mean depth and it is 2 now and now let's move to the next level and we have already added all the nodes of a next level in a queue now the size is 2 so at this level at the current level we have to visit only two nodes and uh, the first node is 9 so let's dequeue it from a queue and let's check whether it's a leaf node yes it's a leaf node so we return the minimum depth so we have found the shortest part from the root node down to the nearest leaf node so now suppose if it is not the leaf node then so we check whether it's left and right children is not null and we enqueue them in a queue and then we pick uh, the next node uh, of this level and we do the similar operation when this when we visited all the nodes of this level uh, when we visited all the nodes of this level we move to the next level and we do the same operation until we have uh, until the first leaf node is found so this is how uh, we can solve this problem using this approach now let's uh, discuss its time and space complexity so we are using additional data structure so its time complexity is big o of so we are traversing we are visiting all the nodes of a uh, of this binary tree in worst case we are visiting all the nodes of this binary tree so its time complexity is big o of n and we are using additional data structure so it's space complexity is also big o of n now this is the uh, iterative approach to solve this problem let's see how we can solve this problem recursively now let's discuss how we can solve this problem using recursion so the idea here is to explore all the possible paths from root to leaf nodes and return the shortest path path which has minimum number of nodes so we explore all the possible paths and we return the uh, we return the shortest path we return the path which has minimum number of node and uh, here is the recursive code so it is very important so whenever we have to write the recursive code we have to first think about the base condition and what are the base condition in this case so the first condition is if if the root is null then uh, simply return zero if it is the leaf node the node which has no left and right children return one if the left subtree is null if the left children is null traverse in right half of uh, right subtree if 
right child is null traverse in left subtree else traverse both left and right and return the minimum so how does it work so let's see so when we start from the root node so here we are using the depth first strategy first we uh, go to the depth and then we return the uh, depth so every node will return its depth to the parent uh, node and let's see how how does it work so we first start from the root node and uh, all these condition this one this one this one this one is not true so it is skipped and we reach at this statement so where we first find the depth of the uh, left uh, left subtree then right subtree and out of all these we return one plus the minimum of uh, minimum depth of left and right subtree so first we start from three and we move to the nine so nine is nine is so basically nine is the leaf node so it will return its uh, depth which is one now <coughs> we move to uh, we reach at uh, at the root node and we start traversing the left subtree so we move to this node and from this node there are two paths one path is this it will return its depth which is one then from this node we move to the right it will return its depth which is one and now this node will return its depth so first here the minimum of left and right is one so it will return one plus uh, so the minimum plus one which is two so this root nodes get two values which is one and two so out of which it return one plus the minimum of one and two so the minimum is one so one plus one which is two so the minimum depth is two and why we are adding one so when we visit each level let's say uh, we move uh, this node then we move this node so we are adding one because when we move to uh, let's say this node it will return so for this so when we call when we call this no so let's say let's take its left child which is null so when when we call again with the null value it will return zero so zero plus one so it means it we return its depth which is one similarly here it is one now the minimum of left and right uh, subtree is one so it will return one plus the minimum of left and right so now it is two again here the minimum of one and two is one and then we add one which is two so two so it is the shortest path so so in this path there exist two nodes so which is three and nine so two is the minimum depth of this binary tree so this is how this recursive code works and now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is big o of h where h is the height of this binary tree so why h so i mean in recursion whenever we call a method so the uh, we put the function call in a call stick so uh, in worst case it will be oh so big o of h so in this tutorial i have explained two approaches to solve this problem one is iterative one is recursive so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video